Good evening, everyone, and welcome to tonight's webinar. My name is Adam, and I'll be your moderator. We're joined by Dr. Meredith Gantos, who will review how she is leveraging CAD CAM in her general practice, specifically with PlanMecca intraoral scanners and mills. If there are any questions, please add them into the have a question box. If you'd like to chat with attendees, please click the chat icon in your control panel at the bottom of your screen. Henry Shine is not offering CE credit for viewing or attending this presentation live or on demand. And lastly, this webinar is sponsored by Plan Mecca. Dr. Gantos, welcome. Thank you so much. Um, thank you for tuning in with me today so I can share my love of digital workflows and um, Plan Mecca's full ecosystem. So tonight, I'm going to be talking about a couple mini cases, one being implant therapy, night guard therapy, and same day crowns utilizing a digital workflow. Um, so the agenda, I'm just going to give a little bit of some background information about myself, my journey into digital dentistry, and then I'm going to share the individual cases themselves, um, some takeaway messages, and then answer any questions that anyone has for me. Um, so, you know, ideally what we're here to accomplish um, to discuss some of the digital dental solutions um, and the value in partnering with an all-in-one solution. Um, to streamline the workflows. I also want to demonstrate some of the various workflows that I personally use in our office that give us sort of the biggest return um, on our investment. And then possibly identify maybe some of the workflows that work best for you that you may be considering or ways that you can utilize the technology you already have um, to increase efficiency, accuracy, and profitability for your practice and your patients. So my why of why I'm here tonight speaking and why I get excited talking about this stuff. For me, adopting digital dentistry has been completely transformative for how I feel about my practice, the level of service we're able to provide, in addition to just the office culture that it's created for my team members and my patients. Um, adopting this type of technology, of course, it makes us more efficient. So we're able to actually serve more patients and produce quality dentistry more quickly and more effectively. Um, of course, it increases accuracy. So utilizing digital workflows, we're able to um, garner greater case acceptance as well as be more precise in the level of care we provide. It also creates a really unique personalized experience for our patients um, and a really comfortable experience. They know that everything we're doing is really tailored specifically to them and they're able to understand the value and in, in the services that we're providing. Um, of course, it's very thorough. So when we have all these types of records and photos and scans and images, um, we just have greater documentation, um, you know, greater record keeping, insurance reimbursements, when we can show the need for various things. Um, and then digital dentistry is super fun. So it's a new creative art form that allows you to innovate and explore and um, create anything that you can come up with. So um, I just want to set the record straight. I know I look like I'm 15, but um, I did go to dental school without CVCT when we were film x-rays. Um, we never touched a scanner um, prior to adopting this type of technology into my office. Everything was analog, and um, even in dental school, everything was gold and PFM. I didn't know what uh, Emacs was or, zir or zirconia. So. Um, I certainly, when it comes to digital, um, I really, um, you know, didn't have a leg up on anybody kind of starting out. So I share that because um, I think sometimes we think that there's barriers there to the learning curve and things like that that are really self-imposed. And um, fortunately, when you adopt this type of technology, there's so many resources and they really make it so user-friendly that anybody can really excel with it. So my journey into digital dentistry, I graduated from UIC in 2014. In 2015, I did an AGD down in San Antonio, Texas. Um, I purchased my practice in uh, February of 2016. It was a really, really, really small antiquated office. So three years after purchasing that, we did a new build out. And the first piece of technology that we implemented from Plan Maca was a CBCT. Um, that was the first piece we adopted because I felt like diagnostically that was something that was super important when it came to 
identifying lesions and fractures and having that for endo and implant planning. So that was really the first piece of technology. Um, approximately about a year after that is when we got our first digital scanner along with our 30S mill, so the three access mill. Um, once we started scanning, we just grew like gangbusters. And um, we started doing so much more ortho and, and just everything. And we were constantly using our scanner that um, a couple months later, we actually ended up buying a second scanner. And then a year after um, getting our three access mill, we got the Plan Mill 50S, which is a five access mill that can do puck milling. Um, it's really a lab grade mill. Um, and so then we acquired that mill. Um, and currently I am completing advanced training at the Mod Institute to continue refining all of our workflows and uh, do as many things digitally as we can. And um, I have some great resources for that too towards the end of the presentation and a little bit more information about Mod. So the first case I wanna share is how we use this technology to help with our implant planning. So within the um, PlanMeca uh, technology, um, all of it communicates and is housed under one software, which is Romexis. So what's really special about that is you're not constantly um, you know, importing and exporting all the different files. Everything really works all together. Um, so there's integrated implant libraries there. It generates implant reports, and it allows you to really plan the implants from the crown down, as well as create a guide um, within that software as well. So the way the implant workflow goes, um, you take your CBCT and your scans that can be, of course, assistant driven. Um, and then you can design the virtual wax up yourself and plan the implant, or you can coordinate, of course, with the lab to do those things. And then again, you can mill your surgical guide in-house, or you can have a third party do that for you as well. So there's so many ways of kind of mixing and matching these pieces um, to really customize this workflow to work best for whatever it is that uh, works specifically for your office. But what's nice about a lot of this technology is it really doesn't require doctor time. So the assistant can take the scans, they can take the CVCT, um, they can do the virtual wax up, they can even place the implant in there and then doctor can come check everything. Uh, same thing with the surgical guide, that's something that is so simple to do, an assistant can be taught to do that. And then doctor of course can always double check and make sure that things are to the correct specifications. With respect to prosthetically driven implant planning, creating that virtual wax up, PlanMeca has two different solutions that can be utilized. One is PlaidCAD Easy and the other is PlaidCAD Premium. So both are two different ways that you can virtually wax the tooth up. Um, PlaidCAD Easy takes about five minutes to do it. Premium takes about two minutes to do it. So neither is a time consuming process. Um, within the 3D imaging implant tablet and, or excuse me, tab in Romexis, you can take the virtual wax up file and the STLV arch and merge that to the DICOM file with a couple clicks of a button that I'll show in just a minute. And again, because it's housed under one software, it knows how to orient itself correctly. Um, and then from there, you can fabricate your guide. Um, you can virtually extract teeth, you can make windows, add bars, you can create tissue stops, um, put text on the guides. So they're really, really versatile and they're super quick to, to do and it's all um, just a couple clicks of a button. Um, again, in Romexis, when it comes to implant planning, um, it's so easy to merge all of these files. If you don't want to create your own virtual wax up, there's even generic teeth that you can pull um, into the software as well. Um, you can use dentures and scan those to make um, your full arch guide that way. Um, it also really, really wows patients and it helps with educating them about the process and garnering case acceptance. So nothing impresses a patient more than when you pull this all up in front of them on a screen and you show them the level of detail and intricacies that go into planning their implant. You know, we're not just throwing a titanium screw willy nilly, we're really planning what's going to have the most correct emergence profile, what's going to be the most long-term stable, and, and patients really appreciate that level of detail. Um, and it helps them understand that this is really a high-end service that you're providing for them. 
Um, within the implant planning software, of course, it helps you with parallelism, um, detecting, you know, if you're too close to adjacent implants or nerves and things like that. Um, so it really simplifies everything to make it really error-proof and, and really efficient. So this is an example of that virtual wax-up process I was talking about. I actually have it split screen, and on one side you can see that process in Plaid CAD Easy, and on the other side you can see it in Plaid CAD Premium. Um, the right side would be Premium, the left side would be Plaid CAD Easy. Um, again, in Plaid CAD Easy, it takes about five minutes from start to finish. In Premium, it takes about two minutes to do this, and it's a really super quick and efficient process. So here that is. And then this is a video um, that just shows that process I've been explaining. So in this video, you'll see that we pull in our STL of the arch along with the STL of the virtual wax up. We merge that into our DICOM. And then from there, we plan our implant. We switch into implant centric view, which is a fantastic view where you can rotate around the implant 360 to make sure that again, you like the emergence of it you're happy with the positioning of it, you're in bone and, and it's the ideal position. And then from there, within the same tab, you can design your surgical guide, however you like to design your surgical guides. So it's a really simple streamlined process and this video shows that from beginning to end. And then from that screen, that guide can then be printed or milled, um, whatever it is that your digital workflow leads you to do. Um, within Romexis, there is an integrated implant library. Um, there's over 90 manufacturers and it's constantly evolving. Virtually any implant that you would place, any guide system you would use from Versa drills to manufacturer drills, it's all housed in there. So it makes it super duper quick. Um, because it's so extensive and because it has so many options to choose from. It also makes it really easy. Um, you can do fully guided surgeries or you could do just pilot drills. Um, you can time things so that you can digitally place your scan body in Romexis and create a pre-surgical provisional um, at the time of surgery to snap right in. So it makes it, again, the possibility is completely limitless in how you want to utilize this technology. It also creates these implant reports. So these are housed again in Romexis and they are super duper convenient with respect to maintaining inventory and ordering, um, as well as day of surgery when you're placing multiple implants, staying really organized as to what length drills you're using, what implants are going where. Um, so they really, really make the process streamlined and dummy proof. This is an example of what those implant reports look like. So it does all the math for you so you can see what length drills do you need to use at what site, what size implant you're placing. Um, really, really, really streamlined. So 
The second case I want to talk about is making occlusal guards. Um, the photo there, that's the five access mill, the 50S lab grade mill that can mill pucks in addition to multiple blocks at the same time. Um, the advantage of doing these digital guards is you can really, really, really dial in the occlusion on the virtual articulator. You can also customize them however you like. You can even take an existing guard a patient has that they love, and you can scan that guard with your Emerald S scanner and duplicate and mill that guard as well. Um, if you want to partner with the lab, you can take your scans, you can send it to the lab for design, and then you can mill it, um, or you can have them mill it for you. So that workflow, again, um, it's very assistant driven. So you take your full arch scans and your bite. You can design the guard in office in PlaidCAD premium software, um, or you can partner with a lab to do that. And then because these guards are so cost efficient, you can get really creative in how you want to build value for your patients. So you can add in for a nominal fee additional guards. You can even set up some type of um, you know, plan with your patients where if they keep all of their recares at the proper intervals, you can guarantee their guards. So if they ever break them or wear through them, you can replace them because they're so cost efficient. Um, it's really easy to uh, produce, you know, more for patients at a really cost effective manner. So this is a video showing full arch scanning. And this is not completed for a presentation. This is literally a, pa uh, excuse me, assistant scanning without retractors, without using the proper scan pattern. Um, you know, you'll see data gets missed and, and they go back and get it. But I love this because this is what it is for us, right? This is real scanning, what it really looks like. And even with all of those variables, you can see that we're still able to get full arch scans in a minute and 30 or, or under, and we're able to gather all that data. So. I kind of love this because it's a little messy, um, but this is an example showing with our Emerald S how we're able to capture that data. And then this is a video showing um, a guard design by uh, my assistant, Caitlin, in PlaidCAD Premium. So in our office, uh, guards are a completely assistant-driven process. Caitlin has attended classes with me at the Mod Institute where she's learned how to utilize this software um, and, and do a lot in it. And one of the things that she loves is creating guards and our patients absolutely love these guards. They love them more than our lab fabricated ones, than our Drufo mat guards. Um, these guards are super predictable, super fantastic, and, and really customized to the patient. So this is an example of Caitlin uh, completing that in Placad Premium. <laughs>
So in total, that design process takes anywhere from about five to 10 minutes. So again, very streamlined, very simple, very predictable. Um, this is an example of what the puck looks like out of the 50S mill. So you can see that to the left, we have um, the occlusal guard milled out of that. And then to the right, we have the surgical guide milled. And you can see where you would slip your sleeve right there um, in the middle. The third case I want to talk about is an indirect restoration. Um, and the photo is Caitlin and Dries, um, my two fantastic assistants, and our 30S mill pictured. So with um, this type of technology and the Emerald S, of course, you can scan and send it to a lab um, and they can design it and they can mill it for you or they can send it back to you and you can mill it in your office, um, of course, or you can keep it all in house and scan, design and mill. Um, this equipment can do anything from crowns, to onlays, to inlays, veneers, bridges, hybrids, again, whatever you can kind of imagine or dream you can create with this software. You can do your virtual wax ups like we showed uh, uh, earlier, um, and you can mix and match various types of materials. So these are some of the various types of materials you can get in a block. And then with respect to the pucks, you can get zirconia, PMMA, chrome cobalt, uh, wax, or that clear resin like you would use for a surgical guide um, or a night guard. With the CAD CAM workflow, uh, you can take a pre-op scan. So the pre-op scan will show you what it was before. If you want to try and keep maybe the incisal edge position or length of a tooth or mimic the uh, occlusion of the previous tooth, you can scan design mail, scan and send, and then of course deliver that. So this is an example of a family member where uh, tooth number 19 has that big amalgam in it. It was broken down, it was chipped. Um, we had some fracture lines, forts and mesial, things like that. Um, and it just really necessitated a full coverage restoration. So we prepared the tooth. We, this is actually before we had anything digital in our office. Um, we prepared the tooth, we took an analog impression, we sent it to our awesome lab and they're a great lab, um, but this is what we got back. So like all family, we didn't have time to deal with it that day. So we threw it on the temp cement and we said we'd get to it. And of course, a couple of years go by and we hadn't gotten to it. Um, by this time we had our Emerald S, we had our scanners, our mills, we had our full ecosystem. So finally it's time to address this terrible crown on the distal. Um, so we had him come in, we of course took it off um, and we scanned it with our emerald S and we made a same day crown and that crown fit like this. So it's really fantastic when you have full control over the whole process, um, what you're really able to accomplish with that. So just to show you what that workflow looks like, this is uh, that exact example. And again, this is not a video that was created to show anybody or, or, or be in a presentation. Um, we just record the things that we do because we like to learn from them. Um, and I, I love this because this is real dentistry and this is the real stuff that happens in our office. So you'll see when Dries is scanning the prep and scanning everything, you know, she even goes back and she captures a little bit more data before designing. And you can see that she captures what she needs without over capturing to make the process really, really efficient. So this is a video of my assistant Doris uh, scanning and going through the whole process of that previous case that I showed you. So then that um, we would send to either a 30S mill or a 50S mill, um, and we would complete that crown. One of the things that's been most impressive to me about this technology and about the Emerald S scanner is the ability to capture subgingival margins. Um, so, you know, there's really, 
no indication where we're finding ourselves having to take impressions as long as we can get adequate hemostasis and retract the tissues we're really able to scan these deep margins and and seal them with um you know these crowns that we're fabricating in our office so again when you have this level of precision um, it's a beautiful service that you're able to provide for your patients so all of these are examples of same day crowns where we've been able to capture that margin that's super subgingival and seal that really well for our patients with respect to some of the resources out there um, and implementing these types of workflows, um, there uh, are a lot of resources. So one is the elements courses at Planmeca. So they have various courses depending on what type of mill you buy and what type of software. So there's a course for PlaidCAD Easy versus PlaidCAD Premium because they do have various modules and various workflows to them. Um, there's also integrations where a trainer will come in and train you and your assistants. And you'll actually have live patients where you go through various workflows and you're able to test them out while someone's holding your hand doing that. There's online coaching and online webinars. They have these weekly lunch and learns that you can tune in with your team uh, and listen in. There's also a Plan Maca Fit Facebook group, which is a really awesome resource. Um, current users will post tutorials and videos, and if you have questions, it's a place to be able to ask those and uh, seek answers. And then the Mon Institute is a digital dental center in Charleston, South Carolina, which has a lot of advanced training. A lot of the trainings are utilizing the Emerald S, the 30S mill, the 50S mill, um, designing and plaid CAD premium. And they have complimentary guides as well on their website where you can um, you know learn how to design a partial denture or learn how to make a copy of an existing tooth so um, it's really really a wealth of resources there um, with respect to the mod institute they have courses you know almost every other weekend if not every weekend um, down in charleston and these are just some of the examples so learning how to do a digital smile design to make, you know, guided perfection is where you would learn to make those surgical guides and, and time the implants and make pre-surgical prostheses, um, you know, learning puck to perfect. So learning how to do puck milling and things like that. So a lot of um, really, really high end, high quality uh, learning opportunities at MOD. Um, with respect to digital dentistry, of course, it elevates our standard of care, right? So it lowers our overhead costs and our turnaround times. We're able to produce dentistry quicker for our patients and improve staff retention and job satisfaction. I think this was one of the most beautiful unexpected side effects that um, incorporating digital brought to my office is just how much fun and how engaged my team are in utilizing it and learning it. Uh, increases communication and case acceptance, of course, with patients. It really attracts patients who want a personalized experience. It allows us to see things we otherwise would not have seen. It creates a better experience for our patients. It improves, of course, our documentation and insurance reimbursement. And it really affords us the opportunity to forecast problems, identify issues um, you know, quicker than we typically would have, and really control our patient outcomes. So do you have to be digital to be a great dentist? Of course you don't, right? Um, but what digital technology does is it makes it really uh, so much easier for us to consistently make sure that we are performing at our best. So, you know, thank you. I appreciate you spending time with me on a Tuesday evening and I'm so appreciative to Henry Shine for giving me this opportunity to share um, my passion for this stuff with you all and, and Plymac as well for these fantastic solutions. Um, my contact information is down there. If you have, you know, questions that are lingering or, or wondering, you know, how you can better utilize this technology, please feel free to reach out at any time. And I'm always happy to assist. Um, all righty, Adam, I'm going to give it back to you. Awesome. Thank you. We've got a little bit of time here for some Q&A. We've got a couple in there already, but please feel free to add any to the have a question box or the chat at the bottom of your screen. Uh, first one, you may have mentioned it, maybe not, I don't recall. Are you the one who actually does the scanning or do you have your staff do that? 
I don't. So my office, um, I am a big proponent of if someone else can legally and capably do it, I want them doing it because I know my time is best spent um, cutting teeth and doing the things that only I can do. So I'm very fortunate in that I have really talented team members who love this stuff and are really passionate about it. And they've gone to the Mod Institute with me and to various Plameca courses. And um, so they do the majority of all of our scanning and design work. Um, in fact, I was recently at Mod not too long ago for a course and I was scanning and I laughed to myself because the instructor kind of walked over and went, you don't scan a lot, do you? <laughs> and it made me laugh because I don't, my assistants do. That's funny, called out on the spot. <laughs> I know. Um, another question here, how do you get the retraction to capture the subgingival margins with the scanner? So we utilize a two core technique. So we don't do anything fancy. Um, we don't even use retraction paste, to be honest. We have retraction paste in the office. We have the laser. For us, we've really found that um, using two cords, we typically use a double zero and then a number two in the posterior and a number one in the anterior. Um, and just using the traditional old school method for us has worked really well. Um, we find that with the laser, that sort of dark charringness that it leaves around, the scanner doesn't pick up really well on that. So while troughing um, conceptually seems like it would be helpful, um, we really have better success just packing cord. Great. And then the question I always like to ask when we have supplier partner sponsor webinars is, you know, why, why Plan Mecca? How'd you get started with Plan Mecca? Yeah. So for me, um, it all started really with the CBCT. So with Plan Mecca's CBCT versus others, um, there were a couple key things that I really liked. One being extra oral bite wings, um, and of course, ultra low dose. Anytime you have a big scary machine, especially something that was new and we were putting it in a new build out. Um, I wanted it to be something that would be non-intimidating, that I would get buy-in from patients and would be easy to convey the value. Um, so the CVCT was sort of a no-brainer for me. Um, so that was how we really started with Plan Mecca. And that was such a positive experience. My rep was so fantastic about really you know, hand holding my team and I, making sure that we were set up for success, answering questions. If there was something I wanted to learn, you know, how to plan an implant and things like that. She was just so accessible and so fantastic that when I started the process of searching for scanners, I looked at kind of all the the big scanners that you know you hear about and that and that you kind of come to mind. Um, and she said to me, you know, hey, have you looked at our scanner? And I, I hadn't at that point. And I really thought, you know, I really like her. Let me just look at it out of, you know, curiosity and, and, and more so consideration to her. Um, and I did. And I was so impressed with how comfortable it was in my hand versus all the other scanners I had tried. Um, it was really lightweight. I liked that you actually touch the teeth with the scanner. You're not hovering. I think that's more user friendly. Um, and I was just really impressed with their scanner. It was quick, it was lightweight, felt good in my hand. Um, and if I was gonna get their scanner, I knew they had a mill and I just decided to jump you know, full force into it. Um, and knowing that she had provided such a fantastic level of customer support, um, I knew that I would be taken really well care of. And you know, I, 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 my rep, again, my CAD cam rep exceeded my expectations. and has been fantastic on training my team. When we adopted this technology, I had one full-time assistant and I just hired a new assistant who was completely green, had no dental experience. And she became a CAD CAM master in absolutely no time. If you ask her to take an analog impression, she'll, she might get a little bit more nervous, but if you ask her to like scan full arches and design you know, an anterior case, she does it in a matter of seconds with complete joy. So it's just such a user-friendly technology. And, and that was really what led me down the Plymeca course. And kind of the more I started integrating some of their technology, the more I just kept soaking it all in because it works so seamlessly together. Very nice answer. Thank you for sharing. Um, how 
did, did your staff have to go through any training for like the scanning or yeah. did you do that yourself or can you explain a little um, bit? No. Yeah, absolutely. So when we uh, bought the equipment, so the first thing that we acquired from the CAD CAM end of it was Plaid CAD Easy. So there's a two day elements course in Chicago at Plaid Mecca at their headquarters. And so myself and two of my assistants went to the course and that is hands on at their headquarters. And so that's a two day training course. And then after that, the trainer actually flies into your office and you line up patient cases and then you're doing it with your team while the trainer is overseeing, answering questions, helping you really sort of fine tune your systems. Um, and they also help make sure everything is calibrated properly. They teach you how to care for the mill and the scanners and, and to do everything the most correct way. So those are the trainings that come with the purchase of the equipment. And then after that, we've done additional trainings um, either online at some of the different coaching and webinars that they offer, as well as going to the Mod Institute and doing some of the different design work and training there. Um, one of my assistants and I actually recently returned from a course called Blocked Beautiful, which is all about creating really beautiful anterior, um, you know, crowns and veneers and, and interior aesthetics utilizing the CAD CAM technology and how to increase surface texture and, and really colorize things really beautifully. Excellent. Well, I'm not seeing any other questions. So we'll wrap up a little early tonight. Thank you so much, Dr. Gantos. Great presentation. Loved the videos personally. <laughs> uh, for, everyone's, for everyone still on. We did record tonight's webinar, so we'll get that out to you in the next week or so. We certainly appreciate everyone's feedback, so there will be a short survey that pops up on your screen momentarily. Once again, thank you all for joining us. Thanks to Plan Mecca for sponsoring. Thank you, Dr. Gantos, for presenting. Have a great night, everyone. Thank you.